Today marks the beginning of the Roanoke Valley's annual count of people struggling with homelessness and tomorrow the Central Virginia Continuum of Care will begin their count. Now this is crucial in collecting information to better combat homelessness in our area. Anna McDougall covering this angle for us tonight. Anna, break down the importance of this census for us. Yeah, Drew, well, this is a nationwide annual confidential survey of unhoused and homeless people, and it's required by federal agencies for nonprofits to complete if they receive federal funding for things like food and housing for these people. We know this is a population that is incredibly vulnerable and needs these kind of basic, basic um, resources. During the point in time count, volunteers talk with unhoused people and collect information like gender, medical conditions and age to help organizations better understand the needs of their own homeless population. Fuentes says in Central Virginia, homelessness as a whole is down, but another concern is on the rise. What is startling is we saw dramatic increases in unsheltered homelessness. This means that the number of people sleeping outside or in their cars instead of in a shelter has increased. And in the Roanoke Valley, their 2023 survey showed that not only is there an increase of unsheltered people, but an overall increase in the homeless population. We saw an increase in our overall numbers by about 54 54% on the one night. On the night of the survey last year, over 300 people in the Roanoke Valley were homeless and in Central Virginia, it was over 130 people. So why are we seeing this? Experts say it could be a few things. Largely related to just the housing costs increasing so drastically that it's just making it really hard for people to get back into housing. A lot of our expanded benefits during the pandemic have expired. Once the survey is done, nonprofits will submit the data along with funding applications to government agencies. Those agencies will then decide what projects are the most urgent based on the findings of the survey. Now, unfortunately, a lot of our Central Virginia homeless shelters are full and don't have a whole lot of turnover. However, some good news in the Roanoke Valley area. Crookshank tells me that there are still some beds available for people that need them in that area. And tomorrow at the Berglund Center, there's going to be a resource fair with dozens of local organizations. People can go and get things as simple as a haircut and medical care, as well as sign up for SNAP benefits and Medicaid. There is going to be a free shuttle service for people in the area to get to the Berglund Center for the fair. I'm live in Lynchburg, Anna McDougall, WFXR News.